Dear Wild Hunters friends, welcome back at the Grace Gift Lodge in Grahamstown, South Africa. I am here with uh, three tops products for a new adventure. As uh, you have seen on the title of this uh, video test, uh, I am here to face uh, uh, with uh, a very problematic animal, uh, an old cow of buffalo which uh, has created a lot of problems here in a property is uh, particularly aggressive at the beginning the animal was alone uh, but uh, now it's, uh, it's living in a small groups uh, in a small group of other buffalo some young cows with uh, calves so it will be particularly aggressive but the problem will be to spot her exactly in the group and the shoot exactly at, at the at the problematic uh, buffalo. It, it was not. It is not an easy task because uh, as, um, choosing the right uh, animal inside the group can be a little bit full and uh, and dangerous because uh, we we want to kill exactly that old cow, crazy old cow buffalo. So. Uh, to do that, I have uh, decided uh, to, to test uh, three uh, different pr Italian products uh, that uh, match uh, together very well. I'm talking about uh, the new lever action by Pedersoli, is the Borbuster Evolution in Remed in 4570 government, a, a classic uh, nice caliber for uh, old. Uh, buffalo and uh, plus I have decided to mount a detachable mount with the steel insert system by Alessandro Contessa and uh, also I will use a reloaded ammunition I will give you the receipt immediately after this introduction of the safari it's, uh, it's, uh, it has been built with uh, the monoflex Hornady Monoflex 250 grains with a, the new, a new Baschieri powder for carbon. Okay, uh, this uh, uh, I know very well. Uh, this uh, Pedersoli Borbuster Evolution. I have tested it uh, previously in the last two months uh, in Italy, in Tuscany, for wild boar driving, hunting. Uh, so just to take confidence uh, with uh, this. Uh, uh, lever action rifle. It was uh, a perfect uh, uh, training because uh, I have shot uh, uh, eight uh, wild boars with just eight um, uh, cartridges so I did it very well and I hope to continue for the last uh, two or three shots at least. And uh, I have uh, decided to mount a muzzle brake by Contessa. It's a special muzzle brake uh, that reduced a lot uh, the jump of the of the muzzle and also the recoil even if uh, uh, the pad of uh, the standard pad of the lever evolution uh, and this uh, the, uh, this uh, uh, lever uh, action rifle uh, the Borbuster evolution has uh, uh, mounted by standard is, is very effective and the ergonomy of this rifle is fantastic. I have tested it in various versions, uh, the, the shadow, the standard, the tracker. So it's, I know very well this, uh, this uh, uh, rifle, especially uh, the, the trigger. I know exactly when uh, it will let off. So I know it uh, very well. I know the ballistic. So I'm very confident. To tell you the truth, I'm very confident. And to be more confident, I decided to use uh, this uh, reloaded cartridge with uh, Baschieri and Perlagri powder because it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a perfect uh, uh, powder for this kind of climate. As a matter of fact, today is a beautiful day, but uh, we, we, expect, uh, we are going to expect three very bad days with the temperature that will drop from, from 34 degrees up to 14 degrees for the next three days, strong winds, heavy rains, so it will be very difficult. So tomorrow morning I will have some difficulties, I know, 
for zeroing the scope and the, and the open sides. But anyway, I'm accustomed to do, I do, I have done this kind of, uh, uh, I have faced, uh, faced a lot of times in South Africa this kind of uh, changing of the weather, rapid cha changing of the weather, so I know how to manage. But with this powder I'm okay because it's a powder that is very balanced, so it works perfectly. Uh, between uh, uh, the bad weather and the good weather, low temperatures, high temperatures is okay. I'm very confident. I know that uh, I will not face any problem with that. But I have to customize a little bit uh, uh, my evolution version, which is a, a version of the Borbuster that I love uh, particularly because uh, it has uh, the, the the flavor of the vintage. Uh, uh, 1886 model by Browning, uh, so a classic uh, look, but with uh, some modern solution. As, uh, for example, the the sides you can you have uh, different side uh, different types of sides. You have the open side. You can use uh, with the Picatinny rail all the the detachable mount that you want to use. In my case, I have to decided to use the Alessandro Contessa detachable mount with steel insert system. Is the model SB02 left? Uh, it's a detachable mount, very reliable, very sturdy, very robust, very heavy. So no problem, no issue with this. Uh, I will use a long relief scope by by Leopold. is a one four times twenty eight. So good enough for buffalo hunting in a quite thick cover. It says it's open. The, the the place where we will hunt this buffalo is uh, is is uh, quite open. So this is the exact uh, type of uh, sight that I want to use. Long relief one four. Then just in case that I wound the animal or I have to uh, take some shot to finish off the animal I can take it off and I have uh, two LPA sights with uh, fiber optics uh, dots uh, green, green color in the in the rear uh, sight and uh, it, it has uh, the classic red fiber optic sight just uh, in in the as the front sight okay so muzzle brake to reduce uh, the recoil everything looks perfect and also, I want to mention the fact that this wood is fantastic, it has a soft touch finish, so it has a good grip. Uh, I will use gloves, normally I use gloves with the, when I have to uh, work uh, with the, the lever action, just to protect my, my, my right hand, and, uh, and in order to be very fast, and it's the, the ergonomy of the of this Borbasta Revolution is really perfect for big game hunting. So guys, no more talking now. Let's go tomorrow morning at the shooting range of the Grace Gift Lodge to, uh, I will uh, uh, zero first the open sight, then I will mount my scope, I will zero the scope. Uh, I have decided to zero the scope at 100 meter and uh, uh, I will zero the open sights just at 50 meters for uh, just in case of a close encounter, okay, with the buffalo. This is, a, as I told you, is a problematic buffalo that uh, will, uh, we, we have to uh, take it out because it's very aggressive. Uh, with people and it, it will not be an easy task as I mentioned it before because now it's uh, b before was alone but now it, it leaves is living in a, in a quite quite big group of buffalo with uh, young uh, cows uh, with uh, calves so it will it will not be very easy to spot it uh, and to recognize it uh, but we have to do it if we don't want to kill other buffaloes, especially females, now that they have the calves. So we will have to be pr very accurate in the, in the determination of the right uh, uh, game I have to shoot. And uh, in the meantime, we do not want to her to spot us and have a charge. We, we will try to avoid uh, this uh, situ bad situation. 
as far as we can okay so let's no more talking now let's go zeroing the lever evolution with uh, our bore buster evolution by Pedersoli and uh, our scope with the Contessa detachable mount. See you very soon. Here I am at the Grace Gift Lodge shooting range. I have put uh, two targets at 50 meters and 100 meters. I will use the 50 meters target for the open sights and the 100 meter target for the scope with the Contessa detachable mount. Uh, I think that this is the best way to go to have the scope at 100 meter, which is an average uh, zeroing for buffalo hunting in open areas and also 50 meters is very good for eventually if I wound the animal to use the open sight and to have it zero it in the right way. Okay, now I will start up with the 50 meters. Okay, let's go. Eh? Idem. Dove è andato? Leggermente più centrale, ma idem. Perfect. In the black. Inside the black. Ok. Bene, adesso a 100 metri sono dentro, perfetto, si può andare al bufalo. Ok, this is uh, the three groups, uh, that, uh, three shot groups that I have made with the, with the open sight aiming here. In the in the middle of the in the white on the middle because I tried to do, to do it with the black but I wasn't able uh, to aim perfectly so I decided to aim here in the middle in the white in the middle of the two uh, orange targets it was easier for me to put the three dots here and I made this group 
So now, now I, I gave him a little bit on the left and the, uh, just a little bit down and I'm perfectly dead on. Now I want to show you uh, the, the, the last shot at 100 meters with the scope so you can use by yourself. Okay, let me explain you uh, how the things work. This is what the first shot was too high. Then uh, I aim it inside here and I took this shot. Then I make all the correction and I decided to, to take two shots on this orange uh, target. And uh, this is very good for a 45-70 caliber at 100 meter with a, a little scope. It's perfect, so we can go buffalo hunting. This is the area where we are going to hunt the buffalo. It's an open area with some bush. Now it's very hot, so I expect to find the, the buffalo in heavy thick. I can get the lot here. Again, load again. Good EV turns. Now. So all the way to the right. Shoot if you can. Put another shot in, put in. There you go. Shoot Alexander on the right, far right. This far right. right. On the right. By the bush. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. It's going to go down. Yeah. 
Watch out for the other ones. Anyway. No, 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 I don't think so. Just wait now. Dobbiamo aspettare adesso perché è stata colpita molto bene con tutti e due i colpi al cuore. Again, load again. Put in if it turns. Now, so all the way to the right still. Put another shot in, put in. Shoot Alexander on the right, far right. This far right. On the right, by the bush. Yeah. Good. Good, it's gonna go down. Watch out for the other ones now. Just wait now. Si sono radunati intorno all'animale che ho colpito, probabilmente sta morendo. Now they are around the hit old cow. So now we have to wait a little bit. Now we have uh, to cool down a little bit. Uh, this morning we have spotted the group uh, near a pond of water. So we started to track the animals from there. We knew that uh, the animals uh, could, could be very close and as a matter of fact they were very close and uh, they came to us because they smelled us but uh, for God's sake they missed us for 20 meters and they went to an opening and there they tried to find us and uh, we spotted the the problematic uh, old cow that started to, to go around the group to spot us and then finally probably she saw us and uh, she came out of the group on the right side so because there were two old cows so I didn't want to shoot uh, the wrong one so I just stay calm and when uh, Harry told me which one exactly was. I take my time, I gave it a shot in, in the shoulder. Then uh, another, uh, then uh, when he turned, I gave him, uh, I gave her another shot. And uh, at that point, all the group uh, surrounded the, the wounded animal. So we knew that when uh, they smell the blood, they become very aggressive. So uh, we came out of the, uh, about 300 years so just to cool down the things. We are cooling down the things and then we, we, we wait then the, the group uh, leave uh, the, the dead animal and then we will go there and see if uh, there is uh, a need for a, a, a third the final shot. And we will see 
but uh, everything is going okay. So it, it was a, a, a very dangerous, uh, dangerous uh, situation because uh, I can tell you they missed us for just 20 meters, no more. Okay, now let's see. Very good. Nice. Oh, go. Thank you very much, sure. Harry. It looks like a big male. Yeah, <laughs> quite heavy. Thick, beautiful horns. You can oh. see the genetics are very good. And I'm very proud. I'm very proud of this. On it. <laughs> it was a, a, a frightening action. Yes, they almost ran us over when yeah. they came out of the valley. <laughs> Straight in our direction. Yeah, they, yeah, just for they missed us uh, just for 20 yards. Yes. <laughs> uh, she she was very intelligent because uh, she has uh, understood the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's very, it's unbelievable. Very nice. I'm very happy. Thank you very much. Yeah, your 4570 worked well. Yeah, it worked <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> did the job. Everything. Yeah, they did the job. They. The, the buffalo stick. This is the demonstration that the 45, 17, uh, even with the uh, average uh, bullet, 250 grains can do the job. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It worked perfect. If your shot placement is good, yeah, it will do the job. How 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 old do you, do you think is this one is around 10 years? 10 years. Yeah. And the weight, the estimated weight is uh, how how do you think? Like this, probably about five, six hundred kilos. Wow! Big animal. And the trophy is very, very good for for being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice, good horns. Good horns. Well, it's okay. Carry thank on. you very much. Congratulations. <laughs>
boots started to <laughs> it, it was like an earthquake quake and they missed us for just 20 meters they passed on, on just uh, we were protected by a big thick bush so they passed at 20 meters just in front of us and then they reach a, a very open space when they started to 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 find us, because they, they knew that uh, a, a danger was uh, around them, but they, they couldn't see it. So from an aperture of the, of the bush, uh, me and Harry and, and the owner of the, the reserve, we tried to, to exactly spot the bad one. And it was very difficult because there were two old cows, more or less, uh, they looked at very, very, very similar. But suddenly, one of the two uh, made a mistake because she came out at, in the right side and she uh, probably she spotted something. But they told me that that was the, the, the bad cow and I, had, uh, and I already had my crosshair on, on the shoulder and I let it off. I, I saw that I had broken the shoulder when she turned back on, uh, she turned at 180 degrees, uh, turning, pivoting uh, with the, the back legs. And it was perfect for me because I just uh, reload and I put it another one on the opposite uh, shoulder and that break, I have broken also that one. She made 10 yards and she collapsed. We had to wait because uh, all the group uh, uh, surrounded the, the wounded one and uh, they started fighting as soon as they felt the bloat. So we cooled it down, then after 30 minutes, 40 minutes, they went away. Uh, we stayed very, very, we, we, we didn't, we didn't, uh, we, we went there but we were very scary and always very, Vigilant because you never know that they, they buffalo sometimes they come back so we stay very uh, cool and cold but the, the, the animal was stone dead there and uh, we were very relieved uh, there is uh, something that uh, uh, must be said that why they become so aggressive Normally, buffalo are not so aggressive. Normally, if you hunt for them, even when they are wounded, or in some situation they, they felt uh, they don't have any other chance than uh, fight with you, but normally, when they smell you, they, they run. They are not so aggressive. They are not aggressive animals, normally. But here in South Africa, I don't know, maybe a strange breeding, they are very, very big, very aggressive, even uh, if they are not wounded or, or molested. They are very aggressive, so you have to take care of the cave buffalo here in South Africa. Maybe uh, the, the breeding that they have, uh, they have become aggressive. I don't know, but this is a fact. Okay, coming back to our uh, test, I couldn't expect to have something better on my on my hands about this uh, Pedersoli Borbuster Evolution, a great a great rifle, very accurate, very sturdy, very reliable, very fast, and also the detachable mount by Alessandro Contessa. Uh, it, 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 it is very reliable and uh, is something that uh, you when when you are hunting. A dangerous game you want to be sure you ha you have to be tranquil you have to be uh, in, a, in, a, in a perfect uh, uh, psychological or physical uh, state so when you have confidence uh, with, with the such products you are very cool and you can take your shots in the in the in the best possible way I have to mention the muzzle break by Contessa, it's unbelievable because uh, it allows me to reload very fast and stay 
exactly on that buffalo and uh, I could repeat uh, a second shot very fast and uh, no recoil, no muzzle jump, perfect. They, they did a great job with this uh, fantastic muzzle break. Okay, uh, I want to salute you now with my friend uh, Ferdinando who is making another safari with another Made in Italy uh, bolt action, the Sabati new rover, you can see and watch uh, uh, the test uh, in my channel, Why Dante is One Man Band. For what it concerns this safari, uh, it ended up in the very good way, expected way, even if it was very dangerous and uh, we had to take to give a 110 percent of our skills and thanks with these uh, three products, uh, especially also the Bastieri and Pelladi Bauda, with which uh, we have uh, reloaded our ammunition. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. See you very soon on Wild Hunters One Man Band channel.